With Foshod 2, they allowed Alexei Leonov to climb outside of the spacecraft and walk in space, and this was in anticipation of the American Gemini program. So they designed an airlock, which made his walk much more complicated than what the Americans were planning. Leonov had a much more elaborate routine that he had to follow. He had to climb out through an airlock, close the hatch, depressurize the airlock, and then climb out the other end. And then he had to re-enter that way. Three days before the launch, an unmanned copy of Voschod 2 was launched with a replica of me, with my spacesuit. Everything went smoothly. But when the pressure was reduced in the chamber, the spacecraft started to spin. And something unexpected occurred. The ship exploded. We had no test results. Two days before the launch, Karolyov, our lead designer, came to our hotel and very carefully started to explain to us what had happened. But we already knew everything, and we were ready. We knew that at that time, astronaut White was preparing for a spacewalk. They were planning to launch in June, so we already made our decision. We were going to stick with our plan. On the morning of March 18th, we were already at the rocket. I was the first to get into the ship, and Karolyov's last words to me were, please, you must report everything. Pay attention to everything. Those were the instructions I received. These Soviet Moscow capsules were spheres, so to have an airlock, to have a place where someone could get out, they had to have an expandable chamber, a cloth rubber chamber, out attached to one hatch, and they expanded that in space. Now they had a little pressurized room. It looks like a, basically like a cylinder, which is attached to the ship, and he has to climb into this thing, open the outside hatch. He went out through that hatch, and because he was attached to a tether, floated out about 20 feet and was out there fully floating in space. And that was the first exit of a human being from a spaceship in outer space in history.